Okay guys, so this is the home that we moved into a little over two years ago. It is finally coming together. It has been a process, so if you'd like to see what we did to the inside so far, then just keep watching. Let's go on in. Starting off in our foyer on our front door, which I painted green last year, so you would not have seen this, I don't think, in our original home tour video. My aunt, I believe, made this for us. For one year, she made wreaths for everyone in the family. She's super crafty like that, so we have that on our front door. As I swing around in the foyer, we have just like a small little three-piece snow decor here. This coat tree was left by the previous owners. You guys might have seen it in the empty house tour. My husband decorated it with some twinkly lights. We got this little truck, I believe, at like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then picked up this wreath up here. I believe it's CVS. And it's just like a really pretty way to kind of tie it all together. And then we have like a little wax burner down here just to kind of make the foyer welcoming. Right, Dewey? Okay, so we already talked about the foyer. Let's move over here to the formal room. It finally has some artwork. It finally has some furniture. So this is what it looks like decorated for Christmas. We picked up this piece of art, I believe, at Home Goods. The red piece of furniture we had at our old house, that was from Goodwill, surprisingly. We've got a little advent calendar there, a little snowman. We recently picked up this, I believe, at Home Goods. It matches our table, which I'll show you in a couple minutes. So this is our one bookshelf on this side. So I'm going to spin you around so you can kind of see everything. So over here we have a freestanding lamp, a chair that we got on Let Go app, carpet that we got on Craigslist. We like to find things used to save money. The leather couches the previous owners left for us, which we are so thankful for. It fills up the space nicely. This Paisley recliner, again, was like a Craigslist find. I love it. This piece of art was from Ikea. It used to be in our other home. My grandparents purchased these stockings for us from Land's End this year. We just have some simple candles and garland on the mantle. The giant nutcrackers are from CVS, surprisingly. Just something little on the table to kind of tie it all together. And these are from, I think, every home store. I forget, don't quote me on that, but they're fur trim plaid pillows, super cute for the holidays. Let me show you the coffee table that I was talking about. So it kind of looks like the old fashioned card catalog from the library, which if you are older than probably 25, you know what that is. Um, so I really like that this one ties in to the little one on our shelf here. So this is what the back of the room looks like. We have two built-in bookshelves. If you guys haven't seen my original empty home tour, this is what it looked like. We have some family pictures, some books, little odds and ends over there. Nothing super Christmassy. This we picked up from Ikea. This was a gift from the a friends of ours. So that is it for the formal room. And then... If I spin around, you will see our dining room. Now, please keep in mind, I have three children, so nothing is ever gonna look like a designer showroom home, but this is how we've decorated it for Christmas. We have this really large nativity that we purchased at BJ's and my grandparents had, and we just loved it, so we purchased one for ourselves. We have a little kind of like bin basket with some large wooden balls in it, and then this glass vase jar, what have you with some pine, some berries, some cotton, just to kind of make it more festive. Of course, our family pictures are on the wall. Up on our light fixture, we have these sparkly snowflakes, which honestly, I don't know where we got them. It might have been from Kirkland's, it might have been from another home store, but there's just a different variety. This one is mostly beaded. This one has more like crystals on it. They're just really pretty. And I just thought it was kind of like a cute way to decorate over the dining room table. We keep it pretty basic. We have a nice centerpiece that my grandparents purchased for us. And then over here on these doors, we have a nice quilted heart garland from my mother-in-law, which I really like. And then as I exit the room, I'll just kind of show you what the dining room looks like at a glance. We did add all of this molding here and we repainted it this nice like sea foamy green color. So as I twist around, you see the buffet table that we purchased at Home Goods, the nativity, the pictures, 
the dining room table, which the previous owners left here, which was awesome, the light fixture, and then we got this gather sign, and also this artwork, I believe, from Wayfair. Kind of ties everything together. And that is the door to our deck. All right, spinning around in the dining room, heading out to the kitchen. We don't really decorate the kitchen for the holidays other than adding like a holiday towel. <laughs> That's pretty much it for our kitchen, but this is our kitchen. Pretty much looks the same as it did when I did the empty house tour other than maybe this picture over here, which I think we got at home with TJ Maxx. One of those spanning around, we do have a little snowman over here on a lamppost, which is really cute, which my grandmother gave us. We did decorate these three shelves with like the white and marble decor. We have one piece of art. We finally found curtains. You guys do not know how long of a process it was to find curtains to go in this room because we already have so much wood with the hardwood and the wood molding. We had a cream wall and a brown wall at the time. This wall over here was like a pinkish brown, which I repainted last winter. So we finally found these curtains at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, one of those, and I think they go really well. I just found this clock at Burlington last week, and I think it goes really well with like the kind of slate gray color over here. This is the kids' craft table. So no, we do not have an official kitchen table. The kids do their homework here. They do their crafting, their cutting, their gluing, their markers. And I know that any table we purchase is just going to get ruined. So we have folding chairs and a folding table, and I am totally fine with that. Over here by the back door, we have this really sparkly basket filled with some pine cones. We have, don't mind that, that's that's a cat toy that they got for Christmas and some draft keeper things. This is the door to our backyard, our beautiful Christmas tree. And I made a burlap bow to go on top of it as a topper and we've got like a little, like a little Santa trim tree skirt, which I think is really cute. We just got this carpet from Overstock a couple of weeks ago, so things are finally coming together two years later. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know why it's taken so long. We had not one, but two trees fall in our house. We had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, six flying squirrels invading the inside of our house. We had a snake in our kitchen and multiple foster children. So it has been a process. This unit right here was a home goods purchase. This piece of art, the bike, and also this piece of art up here are also from Home Goods. Our couches are from our previous home. They're kind of like a slate gray blue color. And so we just wanted to add pops. That's my kid's Tamagotchi. <laughs> um, we just wanted to add kind of pops of coral. So this fuzzy blanket, I believe I purchased at, I think this might've been a Ross or Burlington purchase. And then this one was probably Target. So we've got like a fuzzy gray one and a fuzzy coral one. And then this chair over here was from Raymore and Flanagan Clearance Center. And the pillow was from Kmart, which I rarely shop at Kmart. It was just on a whim that I went in and found the perfect pillow with the corals and the greens and the yellows and the blues. So that's pretty much what it looks like. We have under the cabinet lighting here that we can change the color of. So during Christmas time, we set it to red. This is usually where I sit to edit my videos with my cup of tea, as always. We almost always have a stack of library books here for the kids and for us to read. That's what that is. So this is the updated home decor and holiday decoration. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we've done with the house so far. I will keep you posted when new things are added. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.